Hey, I'm Baz, and you're watching Venture Off Road Australia 4x4. I don't usually do product reviews, and I don't usually do rant videos, but today I'm going to make an exception for the DJI Air 3. I've had the Phantom 3 standard for about five years now, and I've been wanting to upgrade for a little while, so I've been saving up the dollars and finally gone out and bought myself an Air 3. Did all my research, or at least I thought I did, and decided that I would settle on the fly more combo with the RC2 controller. So obviously it comes with the drone, the RC2 controller, we've got the shoulder bag there, um, we've got the charging hub for the three batteries, USB-C cable and the extra propellers. So everything you would need you would think. Um, turns out that that is not the case and this is something that nobody on the internet seems to be talking about uh, i see it as a big problem and i thought i want to share this with you guys and make you aware so when you bring the drone home you open up the manual you start to have a read through you see that dji don't actually include a power supply with the drone at all um, there's a the box doesn't say anything on there nothing clear that tells me uh, no power supply included on either side, anywhere on the box. There's nothing there. We do have an inclusions list for what is in the box. Um, and it does say that there is a charging hub. So that sounds great. Uh, but as it turns out, the charging hub doesn't actually allow you to charge the batteries. You need to go out and buy a power supply separately. I find that really disappointing. I've spent $2,350 on a drone. Uh, it is absolutely useless without a power supply and yet there is not one in the box. I reckon that's pretty poor. $130 extra on top of the price of the $2,350 drone. That's pretty steep, I thought. DJI do recommend that you purchase their um, DJI charger from them but jb hi-fi where i bought the air 3 doesn't sell them and with a quick look online it looks like um, dji themselves are about the only place that maybe have them in stock although um, it's not actually clear whether they are in stock or whether they're on back order at the time of purchasing so how do i charge this fantastic new drone that i've got well effectively i've got to go out and buy my own third party um, charger and it's then up to me to work out exactly what charger I need otherwise if I if I buy the wrong one and I damage a battery well DJI aren't going to cover it because in the manual they clearly state that they recommend that you use their charger which they haven't supplied um, yeah pretty pretty annoyed at that and uh, and I think that everybody um, buying an air 3 really should be taking that into consideration when you're buying the drone and do like i've done and send an email to dji and let them know that it's unacceptable uh, unsurprisingly the response that i got from dji took about a week and a half and as you can see the response was pretty much non-existent you could question whether this was even written by a person it could have been formulated by ai because it is poor we don't supply a charger, uh, so we can't supply you a charger, is pretty much what they're saying. So in the manual, DJI do state that uh, either a 65 watt or a 100 watt charger is what you're wanting to be using. The 100 watt is really ideal because that's gonna give you the fastest charge. But um, you need to make sure that you're getting a USB-C power delivery that's USB PD charger. If you're not using that, then you're just gonna take forever. I did try using a Samsung phone charger, which is only, I think 15 watts, didn't cut it at all. It, it just wasn't gonna charge the battery, maybe ever. I tried plugging it into my PC through a USB 3 port, no good same about the same thing i did try using a laptop charger but the uh, laptop charger started to get a bit hot and i thought mm, this is no good it's not going to last so after a fair bit of research online i ended up with the satachi uh, 100 watt usb-c power delivery charger it's got two usb-c ports 
on the unit. You can use both the ports at the same time if you've got two things that need charging over USB-C, but the maximum output is 100 watts. So you'll get 60 watts on one and 30 watts on the other. And then the USB-A puts out 12 watts of power. Um, unlike the uh, DJI um, charging hub here, we actually have a power cord so we can plug that into 240 volt power there are some 12 volt chargers um, around if you need to be car charging but you're looking at um, about 70 dollars for something like that for a 65 watt some of them do claim to be able to do 100 watts out of a 12 volt plug but i find that really hard to believe with the experience that i have in 12 volt i just cannot see them putting out 100 watts at all i think they get far too hot so that's where we're at. Um, I have plugged in the Satachi 100 watt USB power delivery um, charger and charged up the batteries in no time at all. So I think that that's going to do just as good a job as the DJI branded one. I can't really tell you much about the drone other I expect I'm going to be happy with it. Really like the idea of the RC2 controller with the screen and the external antennas which I know is an improvement on the uh, previous one. So I'll finish the video there, uh, but I recommend that anyone looking at buying an Air 3 drone, be aware that you are not going to have a means of charging your Air 3 out of the box. You are going to have to um, sort that out yourself. I would highly recommend that anybody that buys an Air 3 drone, shoot DJI an email, let them know that we're not happy as consumers. I think it really shows a contempt for their customers. When you look at the price of the drone, the fact that there is no um, clear labeling on the packaging to say that the charge is sold separately, I feel that it's false advertising. Let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, make sure you send an email to DJI and let them know that you're not happy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time somewhere out in the great outdoors.